Thousand. 
have a spot blank for my hundred thousands. So then it's thirty thousand or three. And then my five. And my comma. Seven hundred nine. So four million. I say it and I write it four million. So then it's thirty thousand. So the place value for zero for the hundreds. Then I have my five thousand, thirty-five thousand, seven hundred nine. Aiden, did you check this? Is that what you have? Okay, fix it. Okay, did you check it? Is that what you had? Okay. All right, number four. Brian spent two weeks at his cousin's house. How many days did Brian spend visiting his cousins? Victor. Um, I ate there was seven days in a week. Yes. So I did seven plus seven. Okay, seven plus seven. Right, that's two weeks. And how many days is that? Fourteen. Fourteen days. Right. So we added for that one, but you could also do what? Two times. Two times seven. Yeah, two times seven. And it still gives us the same answer, 14 days. Okay, number five. Six plus y equals 13. Okay, so how can I solve this, Abraham? By adding, adding to get to 13. Okay, so I can take six and count until I get 13. Okay, what else? Um, what I did was, I remember that six plus six was twelve. Yeah. So I went up to seven and yeah. Okay, okay, good. So that's kind of like starting with six and counting. And even. Subtract. Subtract. So that's what Mr. Uh, Scott did with the first class. She did 13 minus six. Seven. So I'm going to take my total minus my six. And that gives us seven. So y equals seven. Victor, y equals seven. Get that? Missy, did you get y equals seven? Check it on your paper. Okay, number six tells us to estimate. What does that mean we do? Sarah, we round. Estimate means to round. So I draw my roller coaster. Zero to four stays on the floor. Five to nine comes to nine. Okay, so I start with my first number. And if it doesn't tell me what place value, what do I round? What do I, what do I round to? If it doesn't tell me which one, which one do I know to do to use? Yeah, I use the biggest number. So I underline the biggest number, this is a seven. Then I look at the number on the right. It is a three, so what does it do, Lexi? It's a three, so it stays. And since we're doing the ten thousands, our choices would be seventy thousand or eighty thousand. Okay, and it stays at seventy thousand. Okay, so I'll get my second number. I underline the first place, which is a two. And I'll look at the number on the right, which is a seven. So Trinity, what does this do? My number on the right is a seven. Is it zero to four as it stays, or is it five to nine and climbs? It climbs. So it climbs up to the next 10,000, which would be 30,000. Then I add my 70,000 and my 30,000. Yes, Ethan? Okay, so I add 70,000 and 30,000, and I get 100,000. Kayla, is that what you got? 100,000. Okay, then fix it. Is that what you got? 100,000? Okay. All right, when you fix it, I need to draw a line under that. Put 10, 26, 16, and then get out your math notes.
right, Lily, what's our first step? We're going to have to multiply. Right, so we have to write these numbers in expanded form, okay? And that's 40 plus 7, like you said. But look at this. Have we had two digit numbers on the bottom before? No. No, we haven't. We haven't. But since we do, we need to write this in expanded form also. Okay? So we're going to do it with an area model. Go back to the area models that we've been working on. Okay? But since I have four different numbers, I'm going to have to do 40 plus 7. We'll put it across the top since it's the first one. Forty plus seven. And then we'll do this one. Eighty plus two. So I break my box in half. So now what do we do? Now that we have our area model drawn, how do we know how to do this, Ethan? Um, if you, you could do um, 7 times 2. Okay, so where do I write my 7 times 2? On the side. But if I didn't have the 2 here, where would I write? Uh, up, up the top. But I would start with the first numbers, right? Mm -hmm. I wouldn't just jump down to the next 2. So I start with my first 2 numbers, and that'll be 80 times 40. That's hard. Well, you know, you know what 8 times 4 is, right? Yes. So then it would be 20. So then we add our two zeros. Now look, we said that 8 times 4 is 32, but we have two zeros. So we have to add both of the zeros. So it's 3,200. So I circle that number. Oh, that's how it goes now. Okay, so then I'm going to do 80 times 7. What's 8 times 7? Dylan. We got our multiplication bags. Lily, 8 times 7. 56. Okay, so what's 80 times 7? 560. I'll circle that number. Okay, now that I've done my first, like the top part of it, now I have to do the bottom part. So, Sarah, what am I going to multiply in this box? Am I still going to use 80? No. So what